Isaac. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for yet another opportunity. And even as we come to the end of this week, we thank you for you continue to teach us great lessons on how to reclaim our soul and to put even our faith into perspective. Help us, O oh dear Heavenly Father, for it is in Jesus' mighty and precious name that we pray and believe. Amen. Our scripture for this morning is Mark chapter number 5. Uh, I would encourage us to read the whole chapter, but kindly read chapter, uh, verse 1 to 36. I will read verse 36. Ignoring what they said, Jesus told the synagogue ruler, don't be afraid, just believe. The title of our lesson is Just Believe. People can proclaim, shout, sing, and even preach that God is good from now until the moment they exit the planet. But if the fear of God they carry deep within their hearts is one of a harsh, angry, and a distant deity, that is how they will ultimately respond to him. Regardless of how passionately they disagree, beliefs are deeper than words, they are deeper than thoughts, they are, th they are deeper even than mindsets. Beliefs are a step beyond attitudes, and this week we looked at the attitude. For what we believe determines what type of attitudes we adopt and express. And we learned that also our attitude is what will help us achieve our purpose. Often we do not think of beliefs in conjunction with soul ties or attachment. The truth is we do not always consciously form our belief systems. They are a composite of many different factors and inferences, some of the most significant stemming from soul ties we have developed over our lives. The man came to tell Jairus not to bother the teacher, for the daughter was dead. These are people whom Jairus was attached to. They, are, they were his friends. And I would uh, caution you, my brother and my sister, to watch out of those relationships that choke hope out of you. Do not leave the presence of Christ. Christ's message to you today is just believe. Shalom, shalom. The name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 